So Seth, I think one of the cool things about having a sporting dog is you get to travel to all kinds of different places to hunt with them, right? What are some things that you recommend to have on hand when you're traveling? I love a good road trip and so do my dogs. So I think the first place I would start is having a disaster plan in mind. So go ahead and research where you're going and where the local veterinarians are, get their hours, put the number in your phone because if you're hunting out west in a lot of places, the cell service is non-existent. So have a plan for that in case you need, need to use it. Um, and then I move on to thinking about my food. So the food is gonna fuel these dogs on a multi-day hunt. So I really wanna go to a commercial kibble and for the idea that not only is it available in many stores and I can pick it up if I have a disaster, it's gonna withstand the abuse of extremes in temperature. And that's really important. Now, my dogs are really prone to travel stress. Not only they, they're excited about it, but they also find all kinds of things to graze on in the field. How do you manage travel stress in your dogs? Yeah, my dogs, same way, right? So excited to be on that road trip finding birds, um, but also eating all kinds of things. I like to start with Fortiflora, our probiotic. Good for the gut, good for their immune system as well. Uh, I usually start a few days ahead of time and then Finn gets it the entire hunting trip that we're on. Um, a lot of times, even just during hunting season, I keep him on that um, just to help, again, keep that gut steady. That's where they absorb all their nutrients. So we want that nice and healthy. Yeah, all my dogs get that when we're on the road and it makes a huge difference. If I use a crate for my dogs, I think it's safe to have them confined in a safe place where they're not moving around and risk injury to themselves or to you in the event of an accident. Yeah, absolutely. Safety first, for sure. What about water? So water is a huge thing on the road. How do you protect yours? Yeah, so if we can keep it in the truck right inside, so again, it doesn't it doesn't freeze. Um, that's certainly something to think about as we're hunting in the colder months. A lot of times that water source can freeze and it's not going to be able to hydrate them if it's a solid block. So if you can keep it in the more temperature controlled part of your truck or your vehicle, that's going to be key to keeping these guys hydrated. Great tip.